Hello my friends, in today's video we will take a look at Insta360 Ace Pro. Ace Pro is a brand new action camera from Insta360 that combines various features that we have already seen in other action cameras with some innovative elements. Based on the specifications such as the large 48 megapixel sensor and 5 nanometer SOC, it seems that the Ace Pro is actually an attempt to combine all of the strengths of other action cameras in one package. In this video we will take a look at the performance, the features and the versatility of the Ace Pro to find out whether it really is the most capable action camera on the market. An important information is that there have been two firmware updates since the release and those have significantly improved the functionality of the camera. That means that the information that you will hear in this review might be different from the information in the release date reviews. Ace Pro uses a lot more conventional body style than the One RS. It is an Insta360 product though, so there has to be a twist and that is the rotating 2.4 inch screen, an outstanding one, but more on that later. The size of the Ace Pro is similar to the GoPro. It is a little bit taller and thicker, but you won't really notice the size difference in reality. The build quality is very good. The outer construction is made of high quality plastics with nice texture. The edges are rubberized, which helps with the grip and durability. The screen mechanism is super solid and it can be locked in place. Unlike with the One RS, the battery is stored inside of the camera and it also has a separate SD card compartment. Despite that it has a rotating screen, it is still water resistant up to 10 meters without a housing. It also uses a magnetic mounting system. It is not the first action camera to do so, but this is a great solution, so I certainly don't mind that. The adapter is secured by two latches, so there is no chance that it will separate unintentionally. You can use it with a simple adapter included in the box or with this more sophisticated one. Despite the rotating screen, it is still water resistant up to 10 meters without a housing, which is great. Insta360 Ace Pro uses a 48 megapixel 1 over 1 1.3 inch sensor. That may sound familiar because those are the specifications of the main sensor in the iPhone 15 Pro. In action camera terms, it combines the sensor size of the Osmo Action 4 whilst providing almost double the resolution of the GoPro Hero 12 Black. It is paired with a 16mm equivalent lens. GoPro also claims 16mm equivalent, but the Ace Pro field of view with ultra-wide setting and standard stabilization is a bit wider, probably about 15mm equivalent. I think that this is a good compromise between being immersive enough for action and sufficiently versatile for video blog type of content. The default field of view option is called Ultra. There is also an action setting, which is kind of like a super view on the GoPro. A very interesting option is the warp setting, which introduces much less crop than other action cameras and straightens warped lines. Fortunately, Insta360 was able to figure out video processing out of that 48 megapixel sensor, so the overall image quality is excellent. Let's start with 4K video. The amount of detail in 4K video is among the best action cameras on the market. It probably uses simple 4 to 1 pixel binning and it works very well. A very important aspect of the Ace Pro is that the video up to 4K 30p is shot in HDR mode, which means local tone mapping. That works much like with the latest iPhones and GoPros. Fortunately, it is less aggressive than on the GoPro. It still reveals a lot of detail in the shadows, but it won't overexpose them as much as the GoPro, and there is also a lot less noise. It still has some of the typical tone mapping look, but I don't really mind that in this case. Importantly, the color accuracy and the white balance is excellent. The HDR mode is not active about 30p, but the processing looks pretty similar. Insta360 Ace Pro is the first action camera that can output 8K video. The 8K video from Insta360 Ace Pro is by far the best looking output that I have ever seen from an action camera. The amount of detail is unprecedented. I wouldn't have guessed that this is an action camera footage. It looks a lot like a video from a DSLM with an ultra-wide lens. It is only available in 24p, which is a bit unfortunate for people in PAL regions, but modern editing software can cope with that pretty easily. 
Of course, some people will say that 8K on action cameras is pointless and all other stuff that we already heard during the adoption of 4K, but this is definitely a big innovation and Insta360 has done it right on the first try. It can also shoot 4K in a real 120p, which is definitely nice to see. There doesn't seem to be any difference between 25p and 120p image quality. Another benefit of that high resolution sensor is that the zoom is very usable. There is some loss of image quality, but if you need to use it, there is no reason not to do so. It is a lot better than simple digital zoom. The low light is very solid for an action camera. In comparison to the GoPro for example, it has much higher dynamic range in the low light scenes. The amount of detail is also ok. The exposure is very well judged. It is not using too bright exposure, which would cause unnecessary amount of noise. There is also a separate low light mode called Pure Video and that helps a lot with the low light processing. Overall, I am quite happy with the low light performance. Flat color setting is also available and it is similar to flat profiles on other action cameras. It is a good compromise between providing enough flexibility for color grading and ease of color grading. The minimum focus distance seems to be about 40 cm. That is about 10 cm more than with the GoPro, so it is not ideal for close-up shots, but usable for vlogging. The stabilization is excellent, much like with other action cameras released in 2023. It is extremely effective, great for walking, driving and even running. The second firmware update has decreased the stabilization lag by about 70% I would say. There is still a little bit of lag in the standard mode, but now I can say that it is not a big deal. There are three stabilization settings. Low, standard and high. Standard is fine for all round use, so I recommend just using that one all the time. Overall, I am very happy with the stabilization. The low light stabilization is outstanding. When you compare it to the GoPro for example, there is a huge difference. This is probably the best low light stabilization that I have seen on an action camera so far. The Ace Pro can also shoot 48 megapixel stills. These are by far the best looking stills from an action camera that I have ever seen. The amount of detail is in a league of its own among the action cameras. It can definitely compete with the main cameras on high-end smartphones. It can also shoot RAWs with excellent dynamic range that give you a lot of room for post-production. The stills capabilities are a huge strength of the Ace Pro. It is a very relevant stills camera. One of the main highlights of the Ace Pro is the 2.4 inch rotating screen. I am a huge fan of this solution. First of all, it is noticeably larger than 2 inch screens that are usually used on cameras. The resolution is very good and so is the brightness. This is the best display that I've ever seen on an action camera. The rotating mechanism is a great solution. It is much more useful than the small display that we can usually find on the other action cameras. The rotating mechanism is very solid. There is absolutely no need to be concerned about that. There is also a small status LCD on the front side and a nice big status LED light. Overall, huge thumbs up for the display. The user interface is great. It uses the usual swipe gestures with separate image quality menu, resolution and frame rate menu and main menu. Everything is very well structured and the items are large enough. Larger screen also makes the navigation in the main menu a little bit more convenient. Also worth mentioning are the presets for various situations that may come in handy. The user interface is nice and responsive overall. The smartphone app is in my opinion among the best of all action cameras at the moment. It is very well organized and very easy to use. Here again everything is easy to find and operate. All of the settings that are available in the camera are also available in the app. It is vertically oriented which has both pros and cons but I am fine with that. You can monitor the video output whilst recording. Insta360 app also offers great editing options, probably the best of all action camera apps on the market. A huge standout feature for me personally is the Apple Watch app that works as a Bluetooth remote. It is extremely easy to set up and very reliable. 
it also allows you to change the most important settings. The integration with the Apple Watch and some Garmin products also includes GPS and various sensor data. I will talk about that in some long-term video. Ace Pro uses a conventional 1650 mAh interchangeable battery which is stored in the camera. I was able to get about 100 minutes of 4K 20p on a full charge which is a solid result, but there are some action cameras with better battery life out there. That is probably the price for that 48 megapixels and processing, but I think that it is worth it. The temperatures during my testing were around 0 degrees, so I wasn't able to test the overheating much, but it was able to get the usual 30 minutes long clip with no issues. The audio quality is a huge improvement over the One RS and now I can finally say that it is good enough for vlogging and all-round type of use. Much like with any other action camera, you have to make sure that none of the microphones are covered with your fingers. Insta360 also offers some advanced uh, external recording features and I will talk more about those in my video about Insta360 Ace Pro accessories. To sum up, Insta360 Ace Pro is in my opinion the most interesting and probably the most innovative action camera in years. 48 megapixel 1 over 1 1.3 inch sensor and 5 nanometer CPU is a great platform to start with. 4K video processing is very nice, so I can say that Insta360 was able to figure out the video processing. There are some artifacts here and there, but the amount is acceptable, especially in exchange for the zoom capabilities and 8K. The 8K image quality is brilliant and I am a big fan. Local tone mapping HDR is relatively toned down, so I am happy with that as well. Ace Pro is very well made and water resistant. The 2.4 inch screen is the best that you can find on an action camera and the rotating mechanism is great, in my opinion the best solution available. The stabilization is also among the best. The stabilization lag was my only significant complaint but that has been mostly fixed. Insta360 is known for improving their camera significantly during the lifespan, so I think that the Ace Pro will get a lot better over the time. I am pretty sure that it will become even more capable after some firmware updates. Together with the Osmo Pocket 3, it is the most interesting consumer camera on the market in my opinion. These are the two devices that I intend to cover in the long term and make a lot of videos about them. Insta360 Ace Pro is indeed a bold attempt to move action cameras forward, so far a successful one, which means that I can highly recommend it. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.